What's up everybody, today we're going to talk about shutter speed. So what is shutter speed? Shutter speed is one of the three basics of the exposure triangle along with ISO and aperture. So you mainly use the shutter speed for two different things. One is making the image brighter or darker by increasing or decreasing the shutter speed. The other one is whether you want to capture freeze motion or you want to have more motion in the image. So if you're using a fast shutter speed that'll freeze a moment. For example, if someone's running and you want to capture that movement when they're in the midair, what you need to use is a fast shutter speed so that'll capture that moment and freeze it in time. On the other side, if you want to take a picture of a river or the sea or something like that and you want to capture all the movement so it looks like silky glass so it looks like silky glass smooth image then what you need to do is have a longer shutter speed so you can capture all of that movement what happens in a camera you have a shutter and the shutter speed controls that shutter of how long it's open and how long it's closed and depending on how long it's open or closed that's how much light it's going to let in so when the shutter is open it exposes the sensor to the the data and the light and stuff like that and that's how you capture the image using the shutter speed so like we said the shutter speed controls how long the shutter is open and what sort of image you're going to get so if you want to get some motion blur images then you need to use a long shutter speed and if you want to capture some something like a water droplet and you need a fast shutter speed. Adjusting the shutter speed you can get a number of different things so there's one technique called panning so what you need to do is you follow with your camera like this and you take a picture and what happens is it captures the background as a blur because you're moving past it but your subject that you're following stays in focus. I used to do this quite a lot when I was shooting car photographs so you'd have a car drive past and you follow it with the camera you take some pictures and that car will be freezed in the frame whereas the background's going to be out of focus and generally as a rule of thumb the way I used to do it is whatever speed the car is going that's what shutter speed you need so if the car is going to go past 30 mile an hour you need one over 30th of a second and that enables the the car to be captured and the background to be blurry when you're using panning you can do that handheld however if you need to do things like capturing the water on a river and you want to make that really slow what you need to do is put the camera on a tripod so there's no camera movement no camera shake so your image will be absolutely spot on with the the focus and things like that then on the complete other side of the spectrum you can go really really creative with it and there's a lot of things that you can do so i've shot some stuff in the studio with portraits so I've had a long exposure so I captured all of the movement of the person moving around and had a flash so it freezes that motion so I use that quite a lot in my mental health project so as you can see there's like the person's moving along and it looks like a sort of spirits following them because that's capturing all that movement so you can get really creative with shutter speed so it's a really good thing to have and to know about so that's the basics of shutter speed and what I'll do in another future course some of the things I mentioned like the panning I'll go over that and I'll do a full tutorial on it of how you can create some great images using that and the same with in the studio with the portraits i'll do a tutorial on that so we can see how you can capture movement of a person and then freeze that motion as well yeah.